Hello everyone and welcome back to the Belgian Beer Brothers channel. I'm Cedric coming to you from Antwerp and today we are going to taste another Flanders classic beer. Um, this is a beer with a lot of history. I have talked about this brewery a while ago when we celebrated their 200th anniversary but today we are tasting the original, the OG beer. I am of course talking about Rodenbach classic um, I haven't had one of these in years so I'm actually very curious as to how this is gonna taste after all this time <coughs> now I have told you that I got this Rodenbach package from a friend uh, so I currently have all their beers so we will be reviewing all of them in a short while but yeah I thought why not start with the original with the classic literally about this label one thing that I do notice is that these R's aren't lined up <laughs> so yeah a bit of craftsmanship uh, still there Rollenbach classic the classic red R simple white logo uh, label red ripened and refreshing Flanders Red Ale, crafted and brewed in Rousselare, Belgium. Contains malted barley and a Rodenbach Classic is the reference for Flemish red and brown beer. Its sweet and sour fruitiness and refreshing characteristics is thanks to a partial aging on oak fooders okay nothing new here now i have chosen this glass for the classic now i do own other rollenbach glasses like the fruit age and like these i have several actually however i'm keeping these for the other beers for the novelty and the specialty beers but I'm gonna use this common glass or a ribbeltje as we say or a pinche because this used to be a very common beer uh, now we're actually glad to get one uh, every now and then and most of the time we have to get it in drink stores and specialized stores every now and then we see some in, in supermarkets but this used to be the beer that people actually went out on when people went out they drank either Rodenbach or Tuborg. So back in those days, uh, a lot less Pilsner beers, or at least a lot less Belgian Pilsner beers, were used here. So let's dive right in. I actually remember the stories of my teacher and my mom going out and having Rodenbach even in, in dancings and discotheques so yeah that nice sweet and sour smell like sweet and astringent I even feel that scent here in the back of my jaws so that's a good sign And even though it's called a Flanders red or a red and brown or whatever you want to call it um, it's not that much red it is a very classic almost like coppery ambery reddish brown color and um, some off-white almost beige foam and yeah there's actually no real no decent way to describe the smell it's sweet it's sour it's astringent it has that woodiness in there it has uh, a bit of lemony hints in there this is an old an old glass 
quite a bit of carbonation still in there and the foam dissipates quickly but of course that is with all sour beers um, yeah let's dive right in it's more or more or less as i remember um now i do notice why i'm not drinking this that much anymore or at all um and that is because it is quite thin uh, i don't want to say watery but it is very very thin uh you see some carbonation you don't really feel the carbonation of course because these are very tiny bubbles but it's also very yeah i have to say watery so you get a lot of aroma a lot of scent a lot of smell <coughs> and then the taste is a lot less uh, for example i love uh, drinking duchesse de bourgogne um, from brewery hager and that is really uh, that, that really gets in it crawls in on itself and that's no no longer or not the case with the Rodenbach. so that is a shame on the other hand it is still a nice beer uh, and coming in at 5.2 percent ABV this is an ideal uh, replacement for Pilsner beers if you want something else for a change and you don't want to grab a soda or whatever or you don't want to go to the heavy beers this is a very very nice replacement to switch it up every now and then the sourness is still there in the taste but it's the sweet part that actually yeah goes away so yeah I do get the appeal of this beer and it is a quality beer no matter what people say and no matter what I say uh, this is a very well crafted quality beer it's just so specific that you either like it or you don't and yeah I'm on a tightrope here like I do appreciate the beer the story the craftsmanship but it's just not my favorite so how should I rate this <coughs> I'm going with a very average again I'm going with three out of five uh, it's absolutely not bad it's just not my taste so I'll leave it at that uh, as usual thank you so much for watching if you can get your hands on one of these uh, please do try so it just might be your cup of tea and like I said a lot of craftsmanship goes into this uh, they also do have other beers that are yeah those that I have tasted are pretty good so let's leave it at that I will see you guys in the next video which will be uh, another discontinued beer another seller find and if you like this video subscribe hit the bell icon and comment something if you have anything to say cheers you guys